Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and uh, I'm going to go through some things that you might want to be aware of when you're using the AR Pro 3 flight plan. Some things I ran into, I've been using it quite a bit, I've really enjoyed it. So uh, I'll take just a few minutes here to kind of caution you on what you can or maybe cannot do and uh, have a lot of good results. So first of all I'm going to open up my conversion table here and you can download this from my website mrkent.com slash bebop slash table dot pdf and as you can see uh, if, if I want to uh, have my my uh, first waypoint to be at 30 feet you come down the foot column there and uh, hit on 30 and that would be 9 meters and this this rounds them off it's not exactly nine meters or I mean it's not going to be exactly 30 feet but it's rounded off so anyway you're welcome to use that it's free on my website so we'll go here and we'll open up the AR Pro 3 and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick uh, flight plan and uh, circle around a point and show you some cautions about that so we'll go ahead and uh, get started on that All right. Now let's say that, uh, well, let's see, let's go out here in this open field. And let's say that we start flying, we'll be over here by my house only, we'll be on this side of the fence. So we're going to set a waypoint and we're going to start out at uh, seven meters per second so we can get out there fast. And we'll have it be, uh, uh, okay, let's, let's go take a look at our at our, uh, where's it at? Okay, well, we gotta go back here. So we'll go here, and we'll go here. And we'll, for some reason, we lost that. So let's say we want it to be, um, oh, uh, let's say 50 feet. So that's about 52 feet down here. 16 meters ought to work. So we'll go grab our thing, and we'll make this to be altitude of 16 meters. I should be doing this just really quick here. Okay, so we're gonna make it 16. And that's good. All right, so we've got it. Gonna, we're going to get there quickly. We're going to go at 16 meters, and so that's going to be our first waypoint. Now then, we're going to get out here in the middle somewhere, and we'll just pick that spot right there, and we'll call that a point of interest. Okay, and it can be three meters above the ground, and we're going to orbit around that point of interest. So we click here, and uh, we're it, we're going to make two orbits here. We'll just leave it like that. And our radius, when we look at the radius, we're going to be, uh, our initial radius is going to be 6 meters, and we're going to uh, circle out until we get to 20 meters on our second time around. Our altitude is going to be 31 meters to uh, begin with, and we're going to drop down to 16 meters uh, by the time we get there. So we hit click OK, and there's our, there's our circular thing there, all right? Now then, when we get to this point, it's a very good idea to save what we've got. Okay, so we're going to click on the icon here. I'm going to say save plan and we'll call this demo. And call it done and OK. So now we've got it saved and there's our first waypoint and we're back here again. Now, the only thing is, is by we're, we're done here and we're going to start at uh, we're going to come in here to our um, second waypoint. It's going to be uh, right there. It's going to be at the, the our straight line comes in, and it's going to be uh, uh, 31 meters, and then go down as it goes around, and it's going to come around again. It's going to, when it finishes, it's going to be 16 meters, and then we want it to fly back somewhere close to us. So we'll go over here, and we'll put a another uh, waypoint right there. And uh, we're going to go 7 meters per second, and we're going to come back down to an altitude of 16 meters, and everything looks good. So uh, we're going to start out at 16, come out to the circle, fly around a couple times, and then go back there. Now, so we better save this. So we'll click on Save Plan, and it's Demo, and we're ready to go. Now, let's say that, for instance, uh, and here's where we get into the caution, okay? Let's say, for instance, 
that we go in here and we, we you notice that uh, uh, waypoint 2 which is where our circle begins is at 31 meters and the, the uh, last waypoint waypoint 18 is at 16 let's say we're wondering maybe we might be too low when we get to waypoint uh, 16 and so that's our that's our exit altitude so we're going to go in here back to our point of interest and uh, uh, now it, it, we, we don't have the orbit here checked all right but I'm gonna go ahead and check it and we, we thought this final altitude was going to be too low so we're gonna raise it up to 20 meters and click OK now then when we get out of there you'll notice we've got all kinds of lines going up here now and I'll just make this smaller so you can see what's going on here okay so it starts out we start our flight we come out here we come out to our circle and uh, you notice that there is no uh, we can't see a waypoint two like we used to have and what is done is this had us fly out go around twice come back to our end point and then go back out again and when it goes back out again, it's going to come around until it gets to uh, waypoint 36, and it's going to stop there. And so uh, we we have uh, we've got a problem now because it's not going to come back to us. What happened was as soon as we went in and made a change, it decided. Let's just do that right now. Let's go here. <clears throat> and we made a change to the exit altitude to 20 meters. So uh, maybe that messed it up. So let's go, let's go back here, and we'll hit this, and we'll we'll move it back to 16. Maybe that'll fix it. Whoops, wrong way. Okay. So we click OK, and we go back, and now we got a real mess because we got 53 waypoints, and they're all identical to the very first batch. That we had. Only thing is, uh, it's going to stop out there after it goes around about six times. So what are we going to do now? We've put all this work into this flight plan, and it's a mess. Well, here's what you do: you go up here, and you click on um, uh, bring up the the flight plan, and you click on demo, and it's going to say, "Do you want to abandon the current flight plan?" Now let me explain. We had it saved as demo, and then we went in and messed around a little bit, and now we have a different flight plan, and it says, do you want to abandon that? Yes, we do. We want to get rid of all the mistakes. So we go over here and we hit yes, and it comes back to our original fly out, do the circle, and go back in. And so what happens is when you go in and make a change, it it, it thinks you're wanting to make a new one. There is no undo. I've searched the internet for an undo on the flight plan. Somebody knows of one, please put a comment. So here we have a, um, a, a caution. Don't go in and you can go in and you can look at it and say, oh yeah, that was this was that. It's all dimmed out. But if you try to change it, you're going to end up with more flight plans. Okay, now let's do the next thing here. We've saved this and we don't want to lose it. Okay, now if I go up, if I go to airstrip and I say, okay, that's another flight plan, and I try to lose it, it's gone. Hey, it doesn't give us any warning. It doesn't say anything. It is gone. Let's click back out here, go back up here. We've lost it. So another caution is if you, <laughs> if you don't want to delete that, don't hit the garbage can. Because if you hit the garbage can, it doesn't say, are you sure you want to delete this? It just deletes it. For instance, if now we're in demo, let's, uh, let's do this one. All right. Now, if we want to abandon that flight plan, yes, we want to abandon it. But it's still there. Okay. Now we go back. And if I hit garbage can, it's gone. We no longer have a flight plan. Now, fortunately, it doesn't clear the screen. So we can go back in and we can save the plan. And we'll call it demo, and we've got our we've got our plan back. But those are a couple of cautions. If you uh, make sure, let me just put this back up again. Make sure you download my conversion table so you can see. Now let's see. 
exactly how do I want this? Because once you set up the, um, once you set up, the, can I get back to that other one? Let's see, let's go back here. Once you set up the uh, waypoint, I mean the point of interest settings, uh, if you go and try to change them, uh, you'll just have more trouble. You can't change them once they're set up. So maybe jot down on a piece of paper how you want it to start, how you want it to end, and the miles per hour are right here also. So make sure that you go through planning your flight plan before you start putting it on the map. Because once it goes on the map with a point of interest, everything else you can change. Like, for instance, if we want to take this one here and move them around, we can move them around. It won't change a thing. And it, uh, you'll notice it says uh, change that waypoint. So we'll say OK. And so we can change the, uh, the, the uh, waypoints. We can change the altitude. For instance, uh, we wanted to end at 16. Go over here, tap that, and bring the altitude up to 20. Click OK. And oh, I got 21. But you can see that uh, you can go in and change the individual, excuse me, change the individual parts of the circle, but do not try to make any changes to the point of interest. As soon as you tap on orbit here, um, you've lost your original plan. And of course, like I showed you, you can go back and get it. Um, if you just, uh, we'll go here. First of all, we'll save this. So we've got it saved like that. And let's go in one more time. As soon as you hit orbit here, you got a big mess. So then you don't want to save it. So you go back in and just to review, you hit your demo and it says, do you want to abandon the current flight plan? Yes, what we just messed up, we want to abandon. So we click yes and it's back to what we wanted. Well, I hope that's been useful. And right off the top of my head, I can't think of any more cautions don't make a change to the point of interest when you're circling around it. And when you hit that garbage can, it's gone. All right. I want to thank you for listening and God bless you.